Okay guys, today a small guide on how to create a polygon zone uh, on updated version. So I'm going to create for the Northwest Airfield uh, polygon zone. And we do it with community online tools. It's way faster. So we open the map. This is pretty, just pretty simple. If you want it um, accurate, then you have to do it like you want to have it. Okay, so let's go. Here we go right here. I okay, that's bit. So we're gonna start at the wall, and then. then we open the player manager, we copy the position. I copy all positions first into a separate file. Then we do it now with um, four vertices. So copy position. We go here. Copy position. Well, it's a bit more. And copy position. This is pretty not 100% accurate like you want it. So then we change these um, closing. Replace and we change these to opening. Brackets. We copy this out. Then we go create in a zone editor a new zone, we name it polygon, polygon zone, we can't edit the vertices here, polygon zone, then we change the shape of the zone to polygon, we have to do it in the JSON file, here you can see it, and we paste all the vertices inside these, this array here, as in, like so, Make sure you put a comma behind until the uh, second one, second last one. We save it and then we go and reload zones. That's basically it. And now you have a polygon zone. So now we are at this position. This is the last one. We could make it like we could port right here. Then we can copy the position and we can change the last position here. We can save it like that, it will auto sort it. So when we reload, we we'll see it will automatically serialize. And there we go. Now you have the airfield. It's not perfect, but that's how it works. And how are you going to use it? This is a simple shape here you can even use uh I make it like that you draw a line around the, the wall here like here i mean we can do it if you want so we remove all these then we reload zones so there is no zone anymore and we're going to start Right here, TP, copy position, and then we can copy paste it in here. Then we can go like here, copy position. Of course, this will take longer and has more vertices. Copy. This will take way longer for sure. But that's just an example how accurate this can be. Copy position. It's pretty boring. But that's the fastest and the easiest way here. Ah, oh, shit, I missed that. Copy. And then we go here. Okay, 
ist KW KW Not sure why this is there. So we go here, copy, man, why is it doing that, go here, copy, <clears throat> so you see it's taking very long. This video is going to be a bit longer, but you see what I do here, trying to be accurate as possible. I'm gonna post the JSON or the zone itself also, so you can use it if you want. So, going to be a bit faster now, not that accurate anymore, because otherwise the video is getting too long. See, I can't even remember where I started. You see, it's getting very, very large lists of positions. I'm gonna skip it under here. Copy. It 
it's huge, right? Got me. Getting closer and closer. Got me. Yeah, now it's boring. Also, I believe we started at three, three six. Okay, so uh, okay, that's bad. Come here, come there. I guess we just need to go until here, if I remember correct. Or did we start it here? Oh, let me see in a second. So copy this, paste. Okay, so we can remove the last one. Yeah, okay, we can move to the last one. Okay, so now we are done. All I do is, because I work with Visual Studio Code, we're gonna replace these arrows with the opening bracket, and then the closing arrows with the closing bracket. And then what we're gonna do is, we're gonna change all occurrences so we have a comma behind each except for the last one of course we copy this list and then we paste it into vertices oh wait that was in this one okay we can keep it like that it will auto fix it for us when we reload zones as you can see getting sorted and when we open the map now we see that the airfield is pretty accurate I would say on the wall this one is not perfect but everything else seems to be very precise you can just still adjust it if you want okay that's it hope you like it see you next time